ask me. I'm still pretty amazed that you can write something down on a piece of paper, hand it to somebody, and some amount of time later it shows up somewhere else in the world and that person can hold that same piece of paper and read or look at whatever you had sent. That's amazing. And today, you know, it's even more amazing. The internet and all that, it's just absolutely remarkable to me. So my story of openness here is about two people. Uh, we uh, have open textbooks, we have open courses, uh, open pedagogy, that's all great, uh, but people are at the heart of that and open friendships, open connections, uh, and being open, being an open person to those connections is what this story is about, at least for me. Um, so these two people live in Glasgow, Scotland. Uh, I have met them through the internet in uh, several spaces. Uh, the original space was DS106, but we've done m several projects together uh, in a similar art sort of space. Um, and many other people have been involved in all of these things, but I want to focus on uh, John and Sarah in Glasgow, Scotland. So I think around 2012 is probably where I started bumping into them. And uh, what I didn't know at that time was that my daughter, uh, somewhere around eight years later, was going to want to go to the University of Glasgow for college. Uh, so when she was 18, uh, we put her on a plane to go to Scotland. And uh, as you can imagine, uh, that's terrifying for a parent. Um, but I knew two people there. And in fact, she had met Sarah before on Zoom before she ever got there. So to me, that was one, one of the qualities of kind of finding and exploring and being open to these relationships and having people that you know in other parts of the world. Uh, lucky us. Um, so back in, I think, around uh, 2012, maybe a little before, uh, John definitely was one of the uh, people in, in DS-106, and we, we did a lot of work together. The uh, image earlier there was something I'd done with Sarah, but uh, we all had been in various spaces, different classes, doing different projects over like 10 years. And then one day, uh, I got to fly to Glasgow myself and meet after all those years two people that um, just were amazing artists and, and always inspiring to me. And I just feel incredibly grateful that they took the time to, to visit. What One interesting thing, they'd never met each other, even though they both lived in Glasgow and had both been interacting in DS-106 for years, they'd actually never met each other either. Uh, so the three of us met for the first time, and uh, it was just a wonderful couple hours or whatever it was there in that pub in Glasgow, Scotland. And that is my story of open.